Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry this lighting is terrible. Um, can't do anything about the lights that were put in my house. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul for you guys. Um, I also have my receipt with me, so I'm going to go over, over everything um, as well as I can. The total for my groceries were... 267 minus five dollars for delivery so 262.27 for my groceries um which is quite high this um this grocery haul has a lot of christmas dinner stuff um and desserts in it as well as like our normal weekly groceries um but i was planning on having company so that's another reason why i have a lot of groceries but i actually just found out today that my company had to cancel due to weather um I'm not sure if I mentioned this. Uh, we are in Canada. We're in British Columbia, Canada, and I will say groceries are extremely expensive. Um, so that's fun. So I will show you my receipt at the end, but we're just gonna start with um, my groceries. So if you hear my daughter, she's four months old, she's here beside me, or you hear clacking around, that is my dog. I have a pug cross and both of those little people make noises, don't they? Yes. Okay. So let's start here with um, my produce and uh, we'll get to the rest of the groceries. All right guys, so this is my frozen stuff, um, all of my produce, some canned goods. This is where we're gonna start and then I have the rest of my stuff over there. So down in this corner, we have two packages of the Tofurky oven roasted sandwich meat. Uh, husband loves it, I love it uh, for lunches. I've got two bags of the Guardian Crispy Tenders. I believe these are $3.99 a bag, or no, $4.99 a bag. Um, and then two of the Guardian Veggie Burgers. It's weird, these ones, the Veggie Burgers, you get three in a bag, where if you order the Black Bean Burgers, which I don't personally enjoy as much, you get four in a bag, so that is silly. But anyways, $4.99 a bag as well. I got a, this is a substitution, I got the uh, Western Family brand, but they sent me Europe's Best because they um, were out of Western Family, and I get I get it for the same price, which is I think an awesome hack. Oh, I forgot to tell you, all of my groceries, this and all of that was um, grocery delivery. This is all delivered out to where I live, so that's why there was the four ninety five delivery price. Um, I got two bags of cut green beans because I am planning on doing green bean casserole for Christmas. I got a bag of frozen green peas, peaches and cream corn. Um, I have four on the vine tomatoes, a bag of mixed peppers, and then two green peppers because for some reason green peppers don't come in mixed pepper bags, which I think is silly. I got two things of tofu. This Mandarin brand has been my favorite and I've tried many brands. Um, I have three zucchinis. Um, four cans of the Western Family Cream of Mushroom Soup for my green bean casserole. Um, two cans of cherry pie filling because I'm going to be making uh, no-bake cherry cheesecake. I am trying for the first time the Better Than Bouillon Vegetarian Chicken Broth. Um, what is this called? No, not bouillon. Yeah, it is. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to be trying that out for the first time. I got the beef one recently, but I want to give this one a try. Um, this is whole berry cranberry sauce for Christmas dinner, uh, a five pound, yeah, no, 10 pound bag of russet potatoes. I have half a kilogram of white mushrooms, which were not on sale, um, but anyways, got those. Three mangoes, I believe they're $1.99 a piece, but they're quite large, they're about the size of my hand. Um, one rutabaga. Um, we do mashed turnip and carrots, um, but sometimes I get rutabagas if there's no turnips. Tastes virtually the same. Um, two great bunches of green onions, one cucumber, um, a bunch of bananas, two bushels of broccoli, bushels, I don't know what they call them, um, two red onions, a bag of spinach, uh, four brown, yellow onions, whatever you want to call them, half a kg of Oh, maybe I got a full kg of Brussels sprouts for Christmas dinner. And I believe there's four um, Anaheim peppers in here. I've heard that they're good and I want to try them. So there you go. You can hear my daughter making sounds in the background here. Excuse me. <laughs> I was dealing with baby stuff. 
Um, over here is my dairy and my pantry type goods. So I've got a bag of chia seeds. Um, I want to try making chia pudding for my husband and myself for lunches. So I was thinking with those frozen strawberries right there that I would blend those up with the chia and some of this vanilla almond milk and make strawberry pudding. It might work. Hi, mommy's making a video. Yes. Um, she's going through a whiny stage because she is teething. Um, I got two graham crumb pie crusts. I didn't know they made these. So that's gonna help my no-bake cheesecake go a lot quicker. So I'm excited about that. These were on sale, which works out great for my green bean casserole. So the crunchy onion toppers. So I got two of those. I got one of these um, pure maple syrups. This is the dark robust maple syrup. I usually would only find light maple syrup, but this dark maple syrup is amazing. Um, the price is all right. I wish it was cheaper for being a Western family brand, but it's cheaper to buy it in the one liter than it is to buy it in smaller portions. Um, I got a, um, oh, that's not, that's not English. Um, toppable crackers for Christmas appies. Um, I got a bag, how big is this one? 2.25 kgs of old fashioned oats. This is my favorite for breakfast. Um, I have 30 eggs. I got some brie cheese to go on my toppable crackers and homemade hot pepper jelly that I made this year. Um, sour cream because we will be having some pirahis that I also made this year um, and they're in the freezer. And then I got, what is this? One kg of cheddar cheese for $13.99. I don't know why they even bother, but there you go. One vanilla almond milk, uh, one unsweetened original almond milk, and one chocolate. This is our favorite brand, Earth's Own. If you've never tried it for almond milk, we personally love it way better than the silk. It's delicious. And the chocolate almond milk, oh my God. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, coffee creamer. Um, I'm weird and I've tried all of the <laughs> vegan creamers and I don't like any of them that I can get in my town anyway. Um, so I just use good old fashioned creamer. Um, I got whipped cream for my no-bake cherry cheesecake. Um, I know that you can get the vegan one as well, but this ain't vegan. Um, you know, we're not vegan, we're more plant-based, but we do still eat some dairy. Um, and then I got a big thing of sugar, a 4 kg, because it was on sale, and I need it for some baking anyways. And then this is a new product that I'm going to try. It is the multi-purpose baby stain remover because babies make stains. Um, if you've ever had a uh, poop explosion, yeah, this is hopefully going to save some of my baby's clothes. So I got all of these groceries and I'm just going to quickly go over my list so you can see what I paid and you can uh, pause it, of course, to look at it yourself. But this is, um, this is everything I got here and I'm just going to slowly go down for you. Feel free to pause and look. Uh, warning you now it's expensive because groceries in British Columbia are expensive um, yeah so that's fantastic we're a family of three um, I have a four month old daughter so obviously she's not eating any of this kind of stuff yet so this is for my husband and I like I said I was planning on having family come so I've been doing some cleaning as you can see I've got some stuff I gotta take out to our storage um, we put up a Christmas tree with no decor yet um, so this is all the groceries that I got for 267 I believe is that total. Um, yeah, so quite a bit, um, but also paid quite a bit for it. So we'll see how far it goes. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please let me know in the comments be below or give me a thumbs up. That would be great. Um, I would like to start doing more videos again. It's been years since I've posted. Um, I do a lot of cooking. Um, right now I'm a stay-at-home mom on maternity leave. So I have a lot of time. Um, my daughter's getting older, so she's also giving me more time. As you guys might know, newborns are a lot of work, but now that she's four months, I can put her down either in her jolly jumper, in one of her chairs, and she's happy for a longer period of time. So I've been thinking about doing videos on food, recipes. Um, I'm a graduate of culinary school as well, so I have lots of ideas. I have some skills that I can share. I know that there's a lot of these vid type videos on YouTube, so. If there's anything you guys want to see from me, um, let me know. I'm going to try and just throw some stuff out 
at you guys as I can, um, starting with this video. Um, I really wanted to do this video, um, a grocery haul, which I know that there's a million of them. The reason I really wanted to sit down and film this was because I, being in Canada, a lot of the videos that I see are for groceries and grocery hauls in the US. Um, a lot of people that I follow just happen to live in the US and I watch their videos and I'm seeing the price and the cost of the things that they're buying at their grocery stores. And I'm honestly shocked. Like I know our dollars aren't the same. Um, and also I recently moved to British Columbia. I was living in Alberta for the last 13 years of my life until I moved here um, about three years ago. And the increase in the amount of money that I pay for groceries is huge. Um, my grocery bill now is about $200 a week, um, which is terrible <laughs> for just my husband and I. Um, obviously, before I was on mat leave, I was doing breakfast for both of us, which was just quick things that we could take in the morning, um, lunch for both of us, and then obviously dinner, snacks, and then, excuse me, on the weekends, you know, you get to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that was a week. Um, now that I'm on mat leave, um, I mean, I'm still cooking, I guess, technically the same amount of food, but I'm home more so I can do more meal prep and try and cut down on the budget. So it's about $200 a week. Um, this was a big one, so it was about $60 more than I normally spend because we were gonna have family. Um, but I'm just shocked at the cost of foods. Um, we're very thankful that we are able to afford groceries. We are able to afford food. We eat well. Um, we definitely don't go without. I'm not. I'm not a little woman. I'm not a huge woman, but I'm not a little woman. Um, but um, yeah, it, I just find it shocking. And, and, and for somebody who lives in Canada, I think it, it'd be interesting for me to see more Canadian um, grocery hauls and things like that because the cost difference is just so great. I, I, it blows my mind when I see what somebody in the, in the US is paying for, you know, produce versus what we're paying for or, you know, things like that it's just to me it's shocking and it's and it's interesting and it's sad all at the same time so if you um want to follow me you want to see some things um, i'm going to do my best to try and post more um i've been taking clips here and there of my husband's lunches right now he's getting just cold lunches um but i have plans of purchasing him a thermos i've been trying to find like a wide mouth larger thermos instead of just a little um thermos for his lunch um she's over this um thermos so that he can have warm lunches now that the weather's getting cold um but i'm, I'm starting to collect little clips so i can put that together they're not <laughs> a weekly thing like i've been trying to do because sometimes in the mornings i just don't have time to film his uh, lunches because i have to get up with her in the morning and try and make his lunch all at the same time um but i can throw those clips together and show you guys some lunch ideas um I've also thought about doing um, dinners of the week. Again, I don't know if I'd be able to get it every single day of the week right now just because of my baby. Um, she tends to get fussy in the mornings and in the evenings and then during the day she's good. So at night sometimes it's hard for me to get dinner out without a fussing crying baby and sometimes my husband's here to help me and sometimes he's late and isn't here to help me. But that's something I'm thinking about doing as well. Um, we're plant-based, we don't eat meat at all. Um, we do eat some dairy, however. Um, I'm thinking about cutting back on that, but as of right now, we do eat dairy. Um, yes, thank you for telling us about that, baby. Um, so yeah, I also am thinking about doing a quick video um, based around a video that I posted. I think I posted it last year about my stillbirth. Um, not sure if anybody would be interested in hearing that. Obviously, it's quite a sad story but it's been over a year now and I feel a lot of things about it. Um, I definitely feel um, a lot more at peace with everything that happened. Um, and then obviously now I have a four month old so I can go into all of that if you guys would like. Um, I've also thought about doing a birth story with my about my current daughter. Um, I could also do a birth story on my stillbirth and have that be a separate video. Um, just let me know if you guys want to see any of that. Um, I'm kind of just open to doing whatever. I thought about doing cleaning videos. You know, I thought about, you know, doing a little bit of things here and there. Um, but yeah, so 
the options are endless really of the things that I could do with my time. Like I said, I'm on mat leave right now. I could talk about um, when I do start going back to work, all of the chronicles of being a working mom um, and you know, trying to raise a family and doing all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, so if you guys wanna see any of that, please let me know, please like this video, please leave me a comment. Um, yeah, so uh, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.